Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Ross, your instructor. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to move the to the end of a title, such as the cat in the hat. Today's question comes from Lauren. Lauren says, I have a table with book titles. How can I move the to the end of the title? For example, the cat in the hat should be cat in the hat, comma, space, the. Well, Lauren, we can do this with a little text manipulation using a couple of different functions like left, right, the immediate if function, IIF, some string concatenation, and then, of course, if you want to change all of the records in your table, you can use an update query, or if you want to process this for new records on the fly, you can use an after update event. I'll show you a couple different ways in this lesson. Okay, so here I have a real simple database. I made a table called Book T, and in Book T, we've got a book title, The Cat in the Hat, The Fellowship of the Ring, and so on. Some of them have the at the front, some of them don't, like Return of the King and Dragonlance. Yes, as you can tell, I'm a nerd. And I made a real simple form over here, a continuous form with all the records in it. We'll use this in a minute when we do our after update event. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you is if you've got a table like this with values already in it, you might want to change them all at the same time instead of having to go through and do them one at a time. So let's take a look at some different functions in a query. Let's go ahead and close this table and create a new query. Come up top here, pick Create, go to Query Design. Now all this stuff came in pretty big here. Let me shrink this down. I'm going to actually close the property sheet. And then for Add Tables over here, if this doesn't pop up for you, automatically click on the Add Tables button. Let's bring in Book T into our query, and then we can close this. So here's our basic query. I don't need the ID, so let's just bring down the book title. Now we can use the left function to determine if this particular book title has the on the left of it. All right, so right over here, let's just make a, a new field called X. We'll rename it in a minute, and I'll say left of the book title, comma, four. All right, show me the left four characters of the book title. Why four? Because we want that space in there. All right, if it's just the word the, it'll be three, of course, but we want it, something that has four. So hit run, and there you can see the left four characters. So now I want this to be equal to T-H-E space. All right, let's go back to design view. Now over here in this next column, Let's make another value called Y, and I'm just making these X and Y to, for demonstration purposes. Now I want to see the rest of the title, all right? Everything but that the. So what's that going to look like? It's going to be the right of book title, but how many characters? Well, the length of the whole book title minus four, just like that. All right, so in other words, I want, I want the right number of characters. How many? Well, the entire length of that string minus four characters. And that's what it looks like. So now I've got the right part, in this case, cat in the hat, right? It's the length of this entire thing minus these four characters. I've got Fellowship of the Ring, two towers, all right, and so on. Now, the ones that don't have the in front of them are messed up, of course, but we're not going to touch those ones. So they're going to be just fine. All right, back to design view. All right, let's make another column over here. Now we're going to use the if function, immediate if, I-I-F. And we're going to say, if this is equal to the with the space in it, then set the new book title equal to this with the the at the end of it. Otherwise, leave it alone. So I'm going to say, we'll call this one Z, right? If x equals, in quotes, the space, then I want to set this equal to whatever y is and comma the, right? We're going to take cat in the hat comma the. Otherwise, just leave it book title. And now let's take a peek at it. There we go. That's the string we're looking for. The if function says, take a look and see if this is the space. If it is, then make Z, the new book title, cat in the hat, comma, the, 
Otherwise, if it's Return of the King, leave it as the original Return of the King. So now I can run an update query to replace this with this. Now, unfortunately, you can't use this exactly the way it is now as an update query because you got these different fields in here, X, Y, and Z, which are going to be considered parameters if you make this an update query. So we can either save this and make a second query, or we can replace this all with one long line, one long function. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of all this, delete. I'm going to change this into an update query. All right, now notice book date, book title is now update two. And now we just replace that whole thing that we just did with one long function. And fortunately, I put it on my clipboard. There it is. Okay, it's the same thing we just did in three columns, but I mashed it all into one column. It says if the left four characters of book title equals the with a space, then set book title equal to the right characters book title comma len book title minus four and the otherwise just leave it book title. It's just making, I like to break things down into multiple columns when I'm figuring it out or when I'm doing something for the first time, but then you can always resimplify it and put it back together into one because access sometimes doesn't like things broken up in multiple columns like that. All right, if I run this guy now, nothing appears to happen because an update query happens silently, but if I look at book T now, look at all my titles are, are fixed. And I should have saved the backup of that table because now to do the other example, I have to <laughs> change the data back again. All right, so this works. I'll save this as my, I don't know, update the queue. We'll use the same basic logic in my form to do an after update event when this is typed in. So how do I do that? Well, right click, go to design view. Now, if you haven't taken any, if you don't know any visual basic whatsoever, go take my developer one class, access developer one. I teach you all the stuff you need to know. And if you're happy with just the update query, you can stop watching now because the rest of this involves some visual basic, but don't be scared. It's easy. It's only a couple of lines of code. The book title field, we want something to happen when this value is changed. Okay, so bring up the properties for book title. Here's the property sheet. Under the events tab, find after update right there. All right, after update. In other words, when I type in a new value and hit enter or tab, I want something to happen. Hit the dot, 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 the little builder button there. Now you'll probably see a little window pop up that says choose builder, pick the code builder. We're gonna build Visual Basic code. The other options are macro builder and expression builder. We don't want those, we want the code builder. I have it turned off on my system. I'm into developer classes now normally, so for my developer students, it's a pain to keep seeing that window pop up. You can turn it off in the access options. But now this guy should appear. It says Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications, and you put inside this thing here, private sub, first name after update. This happens after the first name field is updated. So the first thing I want to do is I want to see if the person typed in a value that begins with the. So if the left characters of first name, how many characters? Four, equals the space, then do some stuff. And if. What kind of stuff am I doing? Well, I'm going to say first name equals the right of first name. How many characters? The lang length, len, whatever you want to call it, of first name minus four. Okay. And comma the. And that's it. Otherwise, leave it alone. All right, save it. See, I told you, only a couple lines of code. It's three lines of code. And really, we could we could dwindle this down into one line of code if you really want to. I like to do if and ifs, so let's just get rid of that. If it's only one line of code, then you don't have to mess with it. It's one line of code, literally. If the left of the first name, four characters, is the, then first name equals the right, that many characters, and the. Save it, Control-S, close this window. I like to close the form and reopen it. Now, when we type in a new value, all right, my memoirs, nothing happened. Okay, the big easy. I hit tab and look at that, big easy comma the. All right, uh, Sam's new toy, nothing happened. The little giant, boom. And there you go, that's it, one line of code. So I showed you how to do it with an update query. If you want to change all of them, that's good if you've you know, imported a whole bunch of titles and you want to fix a block of them. Or if you want to fix it as new records are entered 
put it into the after update event. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. There's lots of other lessons available on my website that cover the different topics that I talked about in today's video. The if function, left, right, string concatenation, update queries, after update events, basic visual basic stuff. So I'll put some links in the video description below the window and make sure you click on them and check out some of my other videos. If you're watching me on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to my channel and then ring the bell and pick all and you'll get email notifications whenever I release new classes. If you're watching on my website, make sure you subscribe, hit the subscribe button to my access forum. You'll also get notifications when I release new videos there. And if you haven't been on my website yet, go check it out. I got some pretty cool forums, lots of tip videos, templates, all kinds of stuff. If you got questions and you want to see them answered, maybe even in a video like this, go to my tech help page and post your questions there. Of course, you can't always email me directly, but honestly, I prefer that you post them in the forums or on my tech help page. But if you want to keep it private, if there's sensitive information, you can always send me a direct email. I'm more likely to answer questions in my forums or on the tech help page, though. There's all my other cool stuff, my blog, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. And now time for the shameless advertising portion of the video. If you like this, make sure you watch my Access Level 1 class. It's free. It's three hours long. Wait, there's the thing. Three hours long. All right, check it out. And if you like that, Level 2 is just $1. That's another whole hour-long class for a buck. Okay, that's all. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.